hearing 90% of them telling, ah, these are chess puzzles, yes. Well, this element of puzzle remained in chess composition, but <laughs> they are using the wrong name because uh, this, what they call chess puzzle, this is used on the internet in many portals to attract new generation of chess players to prepare them for better tactics, but they have very little to do with the real chess art. So uh, this uh, first topic specially prepared for this first meeting in United Arab Emirates, where we expected to meet a lot of people new to chess composition. This first lecture is prepared by a special guest, a new world champion in composing endgame studies, Stefan Sonsrup Wilson from Denmark. Grandmaster posting this, so I think in fact it's his company. 
successful Earth Tower uh, crew from T3 to T6. And apparently, uh, no matter what flag uses to capture this, uh, uh, why it's been so it's, it's beautiful, but it's also a one move possible. So that's very typical of this uh, process. And we'll see the next. Here is a little more subtle. Right place crew needs eight, and then follows knight to e6, and that's made on, on h5. So, but also, it's not from a, an actual game, it's a, also a constructed puzzle. So, there are close to a million of these droppings on, on Facebook and on Twitter. And in fact, the internet is full of people who compose problems. Uh, but uh, are not very well educated or trained and, and don't know perhaps about our world, uh, about, the, about the world of this composition. So they, they just work on their own and they make these uh, weird or wonderful one move bosses and they get uh, 500 likes each time. That's very good. Next. So, so what's uh, typical of these uh, bosses? Uh, there are already set one move solutions and uh, they are solved fairly easily. You can see this uh, theme quickly, or at least if you are anywhere like a strong solo, you can solve them uh, with your hand rather than with your brain. The positions are typically uh, game like. And uh, I want to stress this uh, number four, many bosses are actually created uh, by. Uh, or constructed, I should say constructed. Uh, they are not, they're not just uh, combinations from games, they're constructions. And typically they have poor economy, a lot of uh, useless pieces around because, they, because the people who compose them want to get to look as much as a game as possible. So they even add extra pieces to make the position more complicated or more the game like. And uh, I think a little time is used both to solve it and to compose these. But they are very popular. And, and there's a, a big world of uh, composers out there uh, who are not part of our world. That's what I'm trying to say. So next, you probably know this. So our world, what is, what is typical of our world? But I would say the first thing is, is the economy. When, when I see one of these positions, the first thing I want to do is to remove a lot of pieces to make it economical as possible, uh, to, to, to boil it down. And the next one is more interesting, that, that we have some kind of uh, focus, we know what we are trying to achieve, uh, we, we, we want to show a theme in an optimal form, and we keep to it, we stick to this. Uh, not getting sidetracked by uh, computer suggestions. Uh, I learned from uh, Mayan that, that a lot of long study composers, they, they often uh, look at the computer lines. I do myself sometimes, but they do it a lot. And, and they, 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 they want to show something, and then suddenly they see a computer line that's uh, kind of interesting as well, and then they, they go down that track. Uh, so that's, that's one of our strengths that we don't use. And we know, of course, a lot about the themes and the history of just compositions from the Mansumas to today. And if we care about uh, why one move works and another doesn't, the motivation of moves is very important to us. And then I would say the last one, hard work, that I think uh, as composers we all know about this, that we keep trying until it works. Because we want something to work, we know what the the focus is we know what we're trying to achieve, so we work for it. And when the, the, the thing, thing is that when we post one of our constructions on Facebook, there's another like inside. So, <coughs> chess players get excited about the chess and about chess problems, but and we chess problems is about creating excitement, in my view. It's also about aesthetics and a lot more, but it's about getting people excited. So how come that, the, that these people uh, are not part of our world, but are just excited uh, in, in 
Uh, 
so as to perform it, but it's maybe not a perfect first time. <laughs> so this was my next question. Uh, once again, you see this uh, Ruben E4, it's uh, the thematic piece, it's uh, caught in the middle. And, uh, and White Knight needs to, to play around it and through it. Try the other one. 
that's why it takes A4 as well.
the best blitz game ever played between Hikaru Nakamura and the Paris Saint Maybe not. The problem is that uh, I can probably not uh, make the, you hear this video. That's a shame because it's uh, commentated by Dimitri Komarov. It's a very good and very entertaining uh, a commentator. And uh, this was when, when he came and saw this, he said, okay, why is totally winning? It's Nakamura, he's a piece up and like there's no compensation whatsoever. But it turns out that it's not so easy, even for Nakamura, the best best game player in the world. So, uh, why try various stuff? But let me keep checking. I cannot come to this for this command, but uh, I will try my best. So now white goes for me. But now black checks and checks and checks. And they will have a queen if the group is captured. And Nagamura is stressed even though he has uh, 25 seconds. And now we find the winning pair of returning with the king, going to d3. And b2. But it turns out it's not that winning after all. Because rook e3. And uh, suddenly uh, this rook is just uh, standing there and the, the clock is ticking. And how can white win this? And then a lot happens in a very few seconds. That's happening. Ah, ah, and, and, uh, and now white is still playing for a win. That can check. Might as well. Oh, the rook falls. Yes, but white has a queen on the Oh, me on E3, no, not. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's a draw, but unfortunately, Sachenko puts his king and could be captured on E7. So, the game is even better with uh, Dmitry Kovar's uh, commentary. But uh, this uh, group E3 move inspired me. I wanted to make uh, uh, this uh, in the study. You should uh, go and, uh, and you should see this with sound because it's the best uh, race game ever. With his commentary. He, the last thing he says is impossible to move the plate, was the last thing he said. But it was played. It wasn't impossible. Okay. Okay, so this is uh, more like a, a real in game study in traditional style, but still it features this. Uh, and move played by a Sanchenko. <coughs> so it's a uh, white to move away. This was, uh, this was in fact uh, published only in the group chess conversations uh, on Facebook. So it's not uh, officially published anywhere. But it's uh, not a really new game. So white starts with e7 to get a queen. And the rook cannot go to e5 because of e4. So black plays rook d5. White takes. And now the rook e3, which is kind of like what the top jet would get against the Nakamura. The king must go. And now rook e3. Like, a, like in that base game, very calm. Uh, not the mo motivation is not to promote here, but just to fork the rook on, uh, on d5. So now it looks like it's a uh, white to move and win, by the way. Now it looks like like can just get that pawn on, uh, on e7 as a draw, but white uh, has a knight. And it goes to d3, the best one. And white knights go to e5.
ingredients is the best thing. Because let's return to the PowerPoint. It's always better to be PowerPoint.